Hi, I'm Betty Banjack, and this is Look Who's Cooking. And look who's back again. Hello, thanks Su for having me back. Susie and Smart came back to cook for us. Now, I forgot, we, is this Christmas Eve or Christmas morning breakfast? This is a Christmas Eve, midnight, after midnight mass breakfast. You got that all in it? I did. Okay, so she's here to show us how her family does their Christmas celebrating. Mm -hmm. And uh, so why don't we just get started and sure. we'll go from there. This is um, my, my family, once I was of a certain age to be able to go to midnight mass with my family. How um, old? Um, I probably, understand that because people take little babies. Yeah. yeah, well, no, this this is, I don't know how to say this without ruining anything. When I was old enough to be Santa's helper. Oh, okay. Then I, we would all go to midnight mass, and, and uh, my father didn't go. He was a faithful man, but kind of didn't do the church thing. So uh, he would stay home, and he would make this huge breakfast for everybody, so that when we got back, we would, you know, we always used to love it. But this is just a small portion of what he would do. And it's um, the uh, piece de resistance, you could say, is the French toast that was my uh, recipe that my mother found from an actual French cooking book. And, uh, Are you French background? No. No? I am as Irish as the day is long. <laughs> but I'll steal from whoever I need to if it's I, good. I know that. And if it's a, if there's any, if it's a holiday and there's food, oh, I please. celebrate you it. You got know? it. Absolutely. <laughs> so um, this is different from a lot of the uh, uh, French toast recipes that you hear, that, which is usually egg and cinnamon, and you dip it and you, you know, stick it on. Um, what we're going to do is, uh, what, what makes the difference is you make a paste of flour and milk and then you fold that into the eggs. And the recipe is easy because you use the, um, like right now I'm doing three eggs, and I'll do three tablespoons of flour. So the same number of eggs that you have, you use the same number of tablespoons oh, of flour. Tablespoons. Tablespoons, and then you double the tablespoons of milk. So it's the flour and the eggs are the same, and you double the milk. So it's three, three, and six? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you have three eggs, you do three tablespoons of flour, six tablespoons of milk. If you're doing six eggs, it's six, and then six tablespoons of flour, and, and 12, 12 tablespoons of milk. So I haven't it, seen brown eggs in a while. I know. I, well, I like to use organic if we have the choice. That's actually a line from the show I'm currently in. And um, I, I just, I, I've kind of come to a point in my life where I'm trying to do more um, healthful things. We uh, only show when the credits under your name that you're doing one show now right but you've done a lot of shows in the area oh yeah I, 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 I primarily do um, television and radio voiceover oh yeah I yes didn't know that. that's mainly what I do but um, I'm currently working on uh, menopause the musical and I'm the understudy for two of the roles and I uh, oh an eggshell I hate that I'm the understudy for two of the roles and I'm also the dance captain Oh, and well, an eggshell, an eggshell will always stick oh. to the to the shell. That's why you use another My shell. My boss saw Metaphors the musical and said it was really quite oh, it's hysterical, funny it's, and interesting, it's very and funny. Hysterical, yeah. And it's it's basically they've taken um, it's a ninety minute show, and they've taken. Um, Do you use the pie di plate for a reason other I, than I dish? use this simply because what we're going to do is you're going to make the paste, uh, make the batter per se for the uh, and you don't want to over mix but you want to make sure you have mm -hmm. no yolks sticking by themselves. I use this because what we're going to do is uh, take the bread and dip it in here and then put it on the griddle. So this just seems to be um, more conducive space-wise to be able Way to, to go, dip the huh? bread. Mm -hmm. so, so you so have that we have done. The egg in there, that's mm -hmm. all, right? So we have three eggs. So now we're going to take three tablespoons of flour. Okay. You guys see that? Do they have to be exact? Well, you, you, you want to keep them as even as possible. Let me borrow that for yeah. a second. And I have this kind of packed down, which you don't want to pack. That's not the, that's not the plan. OK, so you have but one. But not heaping all over right. the place. <laughs> you know, the two uh, thoughts of cooking, so. one is you use measurement for measurement, and the other one is you just put it in. I know. Okay, so I, I'm got, a combination. It depends on what I'm making. Yeah, it depends on what it, like, if it comes to seasoning, you know, pff, I'll And cakes, do, too. You've got to be yeah, precise on a cake. Yeah, anything You don't have to be like, precise on a, a meat dish. Exactly, exactly. So then, once again, I have organic, organic milk. Organic, whole milk. You know, and you can use whatever milk you want on this, obviously, you know, if, if you... Is the organic whole milk easy to find, or you have to go oh, out of your way actually, to Actually, you're... No, I get this in Acme. I use either this brand or Horizon. 
and oh, it doesn't. Ooh, well, off that's me. just simply because I stupidly went and. Okay, uh, are we so counting? Have, yeah. Oop, one, one, two, two three, four, five, five, and six. six. Yay. Well, question if your mother, if, wait, if you're all Irish, mm -hmm. And your mother got this authentic French recipe. Why was she looking for an authentic French recipe? She wasn't. It was in a it was in a um, a magazine she was reading, oh. and I I don't know whether it was Good Housekeeping or something like that. It was and, just one of those things. Yeah, right? and it's been our it's been in our you know we've used it in our family for a very long time. Matter of fact, my son, who is in high school, um, he knows how to make this. He impresses his friends all the time. They like to come over and stay overnight because he cooks in the morning. <laughs> there we go. Now, what you do instead of to, to make it faster, you just put it in a container that you can mix. And by doing this, you're going to get most of the lumps out because you want it to be as smooth as possible. And, uh, and then it makes this nice paste. Do you have any other uh, holiday family celebrations that you... Well, we, we love, our Christmas Eve is our big time. We really love that. And then we always stay up really late. You Take know. a sleep in Christmas morning. We do. <laughs> we sleep in Christmas morning. And then we all open one present before we go to bed, Christmas Eve or Christmas morning at, at that point. And then, you know, we do the typical, uh, I've taken to, since I do um, turkey at Thanksgiving, I like to do a really nice steak or a beautiful roast, roast. or something like that for hand. Christmas. Yeah. Now you just very gently fold this mixture into the eggs. I think duck is making a comeback. It is. It really is. I know. But that. I'm not too partial to duck because most of it's dark meat. That's true. It's not as healthful. Um, now, normally, while this is being done, my mother would always, uh, if we made this on a you know regular morning, um, my mother would have me d do the next phase of this while she was getting the batter together, I'll which do is. It. Yes. You take um, whatever bread you want to use, and you can use whatever bread you want. We have a combination of potato bread and some healthy uh, seven grain bread. Because, you know, the browner you go, the better, the more healthful I things are for you. But now we're going to ruin the healthy bread <laughs> by you do um, five pats of butter on it. What you do is you do in each of the corners, and just do thin pats, each of the I, corners I of the bread. Fat pats. And then and you, you spread it down, and then you do one in the center, just a dollop. And um, what that does is you don't have to grease your pan um, because the, bread act, uh, the butter on the bread acts as a conduit to keep the uh, bread from sticking to the pan. And it also makes it so good. This bread, there will five pats of butter, even if they're thin. I know. We'll get the, uh, it'll help your arteries clog it. up in a heartbeat. You said it, I can get it out there. <laughs> that was not over. <laughs> your arteries are already clogged. They're already clogged, my arteries. <laughs> Looking at this, they're jumping out of the pan, clogging yes, it up. There we go. Now then, um, what we would also have, I have the uh, pork roll here as well. Um, this, I haven't roll. seen pork roll like yeah, this in Yeah, it comes, ages. yeah, it'll, it, you can get it, and this is a, um, two, a one pound, you can get, it's one pound, eight, it's one and a half yeah, pounds, one and, a half. and you can get it in a pound, you can get it pre-sliced, whatever, I prefer just to slice it myself, because I, mean, I don't like it real thin. You get the Taylor pork roll, and mm -hmm. you just come, everything's even exactly that. Right, and normally, you want to put pork roll on a cold pan. You don't want to reheat, you don't want it on a preheated pan. We have this preheated because we're going to, be doing this. Now I'm not, I'm hoping that's hot enough. Now what you do is you take the butter side of your bread first. Can you guys see that? You take, can we get over to, um, yeah, there we go. Thanks. So you take the butter side of your bread and you put the butter side down first in your batter. Go around like that. Then you flip it like that. Oh, I you like wanna, that batter. Yeah, you want to make sure. And then you take it carefully and put it butter side down on your container. I mean on your fry pan. Okay. And see it's sizzling up already? It's all oh, that nice butter. <laughs> you like butter? I do. It's a curse. 
But I figure at least if I'm using organic butter, I don't feel you as guilty enjoy about your it. Child. I know. You put the butter side down put first. Put the butter side down because that's what keeps it from sticking. Okay. It was, it was that down first? Yep. That's not the butter side. It's not. It's nope. coming through. No. All it is is just. It's just. I the, pressed too hard. It's okay. It's all good. It all ends up cooked. That's all that matters. Do we okay. fun to do things uh, yeah, with people, have, how they celebrate the holiday? Absolutely. Okay. So this is really and good. So and then, many customs. Some oh, of them yeah. are so little stupid customs, Just, yeah. but you got to do them, you know? I know. We always, we always string popcorn Christmas Eve to put on our Christmas tree. Popcorn and cranberries. Thank you. And... Uh, you know, our, our, like I said, our big thing is Christmas Eve. We love Christmas Eve. And, and along with this, my father would do his eggs. And uh, I've since changed, yeah, really good. <laughs> I've since um, expanded his recipe for his eggs. And we would do, you know, scrapple and bacon. You like and, scrapple? Mm -hmm. My father cooked it perfectly. I like really scrapple. Good. I don't eat scrapple only because another of the arteries is screaming. Right, exactly. You eat the, so basically, but, this Christmas Eve breakfast is like, you know. <laughs> it's going to get you. If it doesn't gonna get, get you. you. <laughs> well, you know, I'm at the uh, assistant living, the colonnade. Uh -huh. And the favorite meal of the week, they usually have the same meals every week, but like Monday's the same, Tuesday's the same, is when they have scrapple. Everybody's down to breakfast. Oh, that's too funny. You know, when they don't have scrapple, they're not as many. Some don't come. They eat in their right. room. But yeah. Okay, we want to get the pork roll going. Now, if we would have started that cold, why, again, I forgot what you said. Why it was better? Um, I don't know. I know that my uh, Frank. To be honest, I don't know. My know your that my mother father, told you that. My that, father. That, oh, my your father. father. You always start the pork roll on a cold pan. Yeah, I guess because it's partially. To your father, that's right. You? I guess it's because it's partially cooked. Do you have any? Uh, Irish customs you did too, or everything? Nothing. Was, I mean, it was specific to you know our family. You know, the the, the we would. Um, I know when my my parents were young, the big thing was to go. A lot of parishes had midnight masses, and they grew up in the Fairmount section of Philadelphia. And the big thing was to go around and visit the different churches. You, know, oh, you went yeah. to midnight mass, and then you went and visited churches. That was like a big deal. I remember my friends was in the Fairmount area oh, really? for quite a while, and I remember them saying that. They weren't even church-going people. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas but, Eve, they would go visit the churches. Yeah, because, I mean, the decorations were so I think beautiful. they could have redeemed them for their best yeah. year, but it, <laughs> but it didn't, you know. <laughs> so so what, how long has this has been on? Well, you, can't, you keep an eye on it, so it's just starting oh. to bubble. I don't know. It smells good. Yeah, and we want to make sure we don't burn it, because that would really and not be... Burnt. Oh, well, I mean, it's always good. And then you flip not it. No, it isn't okay, really that's good. not cooked. Uh, that's it's not, not cooked, cooked enough. enough. Mm -mm. So I'm okay. going to turn that up again. Because you should end up, this should be a nice golden brown and cooked all the way. So I don't want to flip it back well, over. Well, one then. of the things, uh, Suzanne thought I had a double burner. Yeah. And we're doing this on a single burner. Right. And I noticed the half that's a little off, off the is, burner is right. not quite. Not quite as, as well done. So we'll, we'll move that over. So... That's good, but um, so what are some of the what are the, some of the customs with your family? Oh, what did well, you my guys do? Hungarians and Slovak. And uh huh. They have a lot. They love. I know mushroom soup for <gasps> Christmas Eve dinner. They have mm -hmm. all of that. We would do. We would and do. I don't uh, know if they stew. do it much anymore. We, we I don't do. know about oyster stew, but uh, I don't know anyone in my family that eats oyster stew. So I don't. It my could have been the custom. My father made a real good one. Yeah. But you know, if you don't like it, you don't make it. And you don't eat it. Exactly. So, think, but they, and there's this of the cookies they make before. They make oh. this little nut-filled cookies. Oh, yeah. There's big rolls they take, mm -hmm. and they roll up with nuts and lek bar yeah. and oh, uh, wow. apricot. Oh. So theirs, I think, is more of the cookies mm -hmm. and the goodies than just the food. Well, yeah. that's pretty good. That's looking better. It's just that one end's not cooking as well, but that's okay. Yeah. But at least you, you all get the idea. Uh, but it smells great. It's I know. This one looks What you're going to knock the meat out of the pan. This looks 
Yeah. So I could I, suggest we sing Christmas carols, but you right. don't want me to sing. <laughs> you sing well. Very I well. do, I do. I get I'm paid lucky. not to sing. <laughs> I'm lucky. They, they hey, lady, you want to make a dollar? Yeah, don't, don't sing. sing. <laughs> Even Christmas carols. So uh, we would do. My um, mother loves to sing Christmas carols. She sings out on, she's, ter she's worse than not. No, she, <laughs> her voice is gone with her age. Right, right. It doesn't bother her. She just sings right out. All oh, that's too funny. Carols and stuff. Well, good for her. I mean, that's so great. So what are we doing now? We're still waiting for this to cook? Yeah, it's almost done. Because now, once you flip it over, then you need to let it cook on the other side. Okay, and the biggest thing is you want to avoid burning it. And we don't have as much control over the temperature with this, so it's a little more difficult. It's not burning. To, That's crispy brown. Yeah, but there, it usually ends. It usually gets this really nice, all golden, like a, a, a light brown tan thing across the whole thing. This is cheating. We, this is because yeah. I'll tell you why. I thought this was going to be two pieces of bread. If you remember, oh, I'm, right, I'm I didn't work up two pieces. No, no, just one. It's a great way of actually. If it may be. Um, a little much, but you're eating half as much. Right, exactly. That's if you only want Think one piece. Think of it that way. I mean, if you only want one piece, then again, if you like me, you do a stack. <laughs> well, then you have to have another one. I That's know. That's right. Okay. Yeah, they're coming along nicely. Yeah. Now you did not butter this pan because you had butter. Right. So you don't need to, because that's that's overkill. So you don't need to. Um, but if you see like the section where it wasn't yeah that's the corners that were that were off on the off yeah. end so because if you notice now it's all getting yeah. brown yeah because I. Turn it up a little bit, but there we go. Okay, and the pork rolls. I mean, even good. if they're burnt, I don't care. This one's getting yeah. very brown. Yeah, though. it is. The um, should we? Do you want to cook some more? Ooh, look at that. See, that's looking a little yeah. bit better. Here we can butter some more bread, and then see. We'll do. And then what? The way you serve it is you put your syrup on it, and then you dress it with powdered sugar. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So here, if we want to get. What do you need? This, I'm just doing a, a, a plate. Of, yeah. Sure, use the good stuff. We use the good stuff. That's right. So if we take. Which kind do you want? What do you want to taste? Oh, I don't know. Decision. Do you want one of each? Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm going to try this one. Okay. So if you take your, your bread, your now, now no longer bread, French toast, and you put a little syrup on it. Usually, I like to heat the syrup. Yeah, how do you do that? You just put it in a little. This one's great. You just put it in the microwave. It's got an indicator. Oh, it tells you there. Yeah, it's got an indicator that tells you whether or not it's it's hot enough. And then you cover it with powdered sugar. Isn't that pretty? It's gorgeous. Very nice. Okay, you take a taste. Let me know I what you think. I take a taste. I have yeah. a fork down. Oh, she knows where all the forks are now. <laughs> but. I'm going to cut this in half. Sure. If I don't. Are you going to make any more? Yeah, absolutely. We've got make some Make for left. everybody. Well, only make it for them if they stop talking, but that's okay. <laughs> Who? What? Just tease them. Here, we'll do some more. What do you think? The syrup's very good. Yeah, it is good. It's not even... Any gourmet syrup? No, it's just regular old you know, hungry jack. You got it. Okay, and here, do you want do you want to taste some pork roll? Are you a pork roll gal? Oh sure, that okay. I am. I hate it. Give here, me a little, and then that little guy. The there you go. And that with the the salt with the sweet works out really well. So here we go. I'll do some more butter. Pour that. And I use the the organic butter too. I mean, I try to do organic if I have the choice. Mm. which, you know, you wouldn't know it to look at me, but I do try to do that as often as I can. So you just put uh, little butter pats on the four corners and then in the center. And you don't have to do, like, probably if you do it thinly, you're maybe using a teaspoon and a half, two teaspoons of butter. But, you know, it just seems like, whoa, that's a lot of butter. And it's really not as, as bad as you think. You're one of the butter queens. I, I you and am. Julia. <laughs> Child, oh, that is. I know. Boy, what a loss. You know, when she passed on, she's just Well, my just dream amazing. went down, you know, when Julia died. I always wanted to have lunch with her at least. Oh, I know. Coffee and, my goodness. Uh, never made it. It really upsets me. She's amazing. 
And see, I so read her life story. Really? And we have so much in common. I mean, down to, I appreciate this story, I want to tell you. Mm -hmm. But there's a fire in her house one time. Yeah. And she threw out all she could throw out the window. Right. And one of the things she threw almost everything out was all her shoes. Oh, no. And they thought it was hysterical. Well, the woman wore a size 12 shoe. It was hard to Difficult find. Difficult to find a size 12 shoe. Right. So what did they do? She, she threw out with... What was hard to replace. You got it. <laughs> and uh, I, the, I wear a size 12. <laughs> so there you go. I, I, like, and she's had knee problems mm -hmm. and everything else. Yeah. So I equated yeah. with her a great deal. Yeah. Making so some more. See. Yep. Hey, you guys are going to have a real treat. Yeah. So how much pork roll should I do? <laughs> we'll get some more well, we pork got roll in there. Two thumbs up from one person. <laughs> oh, two thumbs up. Oh, we got right in the front. We got there three you go. thumbs up. Two, th three, three yeah. people having two thumbs up. Yeah, that's good. And then there's people in the. Um, yep. So we'll we remove. I've, I've got plenty room. to do some more. Uh, let me get another pork. See, this is food they know and understand. Right. <laughs> When we had someone do venison one day, they were very careful. They weren't sure. But they, they wound up eating it all, I think, in the end. But they were very careful in the beginning because they didn't. They didn't know what it was. They yeah. knew, but they know what it is. But what but it was going to taste like. It, but they yeah. ate it, I think, and was all of it. And the gentleman that did that show was very pleased. That's his yeah. thing in life is to get people to eat it. That wow. That's cool. That does not eat that. Well, if you look, if you can yeah. see, the bread starts popping a little bit. Oh, yeah, it's like it pulsing. Percolator. Percolating. <laughs> yes, it starts, when it starts doing that, usually that's a good indicator that it's safe to turn it over. Oh, Let me is take it? a look. Oh, yes. Hey, oh. There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. Oh, yay. I don't uh, care what it looks like. It tastes great. <laughs> yeah, this one's just starting. There we oh, go. Perfect, See, aren't perfect. they pretty? I even know that's perfect. Yeah, they're very pretty. Very, very pretty. So, and it's so good. But See, I was going to do my dad's eggs as well, but I'm not sure if we, I don't think we have the time for that. But the how difference. How long does it take? Well, we'd have to take this off and okay. use another pan. Oh. But I, I can tell you real quick what he does. You take, you know, you take the eggs and um, you take the eggs and uh, you use cheese. And the important thing is to use regular cheese, not cheese food. So when you're looking at your package, make sure it doesn't say cheese food, that it says... Or plastic cheese. Right. It pasteurized processed American cheese, not cheese food. And a lot of the stuff that you find that's packaged like this is cheese food. So it's real important that, you're, you, that you double check that. But you use a slice of cheese per egg. This is another artery clogging meal. And you use garlic powder and onion powder. And if you want, you can add a little bit of um, dill or a little bit of chive, whatever you prefer. And then if that's not delicious, oh my goodness. Well, what do you do with the egg? You just scramble them. It's a scrambled egg. Oh, with the cheese in it. But it's, okay. the, it, it's, the, it's the ratio of pieces of cheese to egg. One for one, huh? Yeah, one for You're one. You're good with that. You have more ratios. That's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not being funny because I could yeah. read. You didn't have to write it down. I would remember the, the, the two, two yeah, eggs. Yeah, double the milk. Everything's yeah. doubled. Yeah. Uh, Go. The two, two, two. Oh okay. my, this is going to be. Yeah, I'll do some more of the. I'll make you guys eat healthy. I'll do some. It's good. It's good. Trust me, it's very good. It's bread. <laughs> and it's crunchy. It's crunchy, so it's good. They have those things on the top, the crunchies, I think. Yeah. Yeah, this is seven grain. Seven or 12 grain. I like that. You're so. doing a Christmas show now, too, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I was. I was working on a Christmas carol. And uh, unfortunately, we had a little problem with um, a miscommunication, and the producer didn't have an understudy for me because I'm obligated with Menopause the Musical. But it's really fun. It's down at Braddock's Tavern in Medford, New Jersey. And they serve a meal during the show, a traditional English meal. Oh, yeah. And we do a comedic version of Christmas Carol. And I would like that much better. Yeah, and we, we pull um, people from the audience to uh, play different parts, and they come out script in hand with some little um, costume pieces yeah. or whatnot, and, and it's always very funny. And we make our ghosts, like the ghost of Christmas past does it a la Don Corleone. <laughs> uh, I like things like that so much yeah. for the takeoff, so much better. I mean, the Christmas Carol, it's okay. I mean, yeah. it's a I mean, the story is, yeah. Think. But there's that and uh, some of the new Christmas movies that are coming out yeah. are absolutely... Well, different. I, I don't yeah. even know if they're any good, but yeah. just the... 
Well, I know, like, like, I haven't seen Polar Express yet, and I haven't seen Christmas with the Cranks yet. Um, but I love the Santa Claus. I thought that was really funny. Well, the Polar Express is, is I'm the hearing that it's today really is unreal. This I is know. what they're taking, and they're using some kind of, some kind they're of equipment, and they're doing animation with the equipment. Yeah, and it's all blue screen. It's, it's, all, uh, it's all blue Tom screen. Tom Hanks plays four or five parts. I know. He plays the conductor, he plays the little boy, and he plays the hobo. And he plays Santa Claus. Yeah. So, so. it's awesome. Oh, she's still cooking away I here. am cooking. Well, look who's cooking. <laughs> <laughs> we have a little bit of batter left, so I want to make sure oh, I get it Oh, you want to use it all up, huh? Yeah. Because how many of these things do you think your mother made one Christmas? Oh, my goodness. My, fa my father... Geez, Louise, probably because there were. I'm from. I'm one of seven, so um, I'm sure that he made. He probably made a quadruple Nine. battle, <laughs> batter at least. And then we'd always have guests over, uh -huh. you know. So I sometimes like when you're getting right towards the end, I like you to have be to guests. really yes, <laughs> be our guest, be our guest. So I, this thing. last one may not be as good because I don't have as much batter left. But don't worry, guys. I can always make more batter. She'll eat that one. That's right. right. That's right. Her breakfast. That's right. I'm just so. eating away. I'm watching her with this <laughs> one. <laughs> but it's great. But, you know, Menopause the Musical, it's really fun down at Society Hill Playhouse and Christmas Carol at Braddock's Tavern in Medford, New Jersey. And You're busy, busy, busy. That's right. You have a son, don't you? Yes, I do. He's in high school. Poor child. Oh. I know, right? <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> that was your outside voice, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Not my... <laughs> oh, Listen, I guess we're going to keep cooking up so we have mm -hmm. this all finished. And we're going to have to go with these good people because it's time to split and That's to right. get on with our Christmas shopping or Christmas whatever we have to do. Some of us have to work to pay for the bills. Mm -hmm. So this is Betty Banjack and Susie and Smart wishing Thank you all a very good holiday. Thank Bye you. now. Bye-bye. This is great. Isn't that